Flappy Bird is one of the most iconic video games ever because its game logic is so simple, even an infant can play it. What the dog doing? In this video, I'll be attempting to make Flappy Bird, but make it look realistic. Obviously, I'm too stupid to code it from scratch, so I'll be using the game engine Godot. I ended up following a 13 minute long tutorial because I thought this was easy peasy. It's just Flappy Bird, right? You stupid! But I ran into some errors so I abandoned ship and went to the 2 hour long tutorial. It was super long and boring but I ended up learning a lot of things. So first I set up the game's size and format so our game looks like Flappy Bird. Then I added some smooth animations and controls to make the bird flap up and down. In the player scene, the bird is a rigid body object, so when it falls, it looks like it actually has gravity. Now I need to add the scrolling ground effect that Flappy Bird has, so I made a new scene called Ground, added a sprite and collision object so the bird can collide, and also made an infinitely looping animation. Then I added it to the world scene, so now we have a ground. In the real game, the ground looks like it's moving infinitely, but it's actually just a collider moving from right to left. Alright, pipes. So I made a new scene called wall, which is basically a collision object. Then I imported the wall into a new scene called obstacle spawner, which spawns the pipes with random positions. It also has a collider object between the two pipes, so we can detect when a player has passed through two pipes. Okay, it's time for making the score counter. I added the scene called HUD, which stands for heads up display. Basically, it's a method for displaying information in a game. This scene is just a canvas layer with a label called score, and it has a function that updates the score. The world scene then calls that function, so it updates the score once you pass through. So now I have a working Flappy Bird game, but we're missing the menu. So I created a scene called menu layer, then added a start menu and game over menu. So now the game will start once you click on the screen, and the game over menu will show when you die. Alright, now the game is basically done. I'm gonna use my totally great design skills to make it look realistic. I did some googling and found a couple bird images online. Then I imported them into GIMP, although I have Photoshop because I'm, I'm just a gangster like this. Bruh. After a bit of gimping, I made the bird. What the hell? So now the bird is done, I'm gonna make the pipes. I thought about how they might look realistic, and the first thing I thought about was pipes, but that was too boring so I made them look like bamboo instead. I opened the Godot project and replaced all the original textures with my new text so it looks cooler and here's the final result. Wow, I'm starting to think this is Flappy Bird, but it's low budget. And now my game is finished, I exported it as a zip file and uploaded it to itch.io, which is basically YouTube but for gamers. Flappy Bird realistic, uh, this is realistic Flappy Bird game. Wow. Then I published the game so now anyone can play it. So I send the game to my friend. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.